told me to come get my cookie. <laughs> okay. Here we go. How many jewels are there in the Quran? How many jewels are in the Quran? Hey, good job, guys. 30. That's right. 113. That's how many chapters, suras, jewels are broken down into 30. Um, the chapters, all 114 chapters of the Quran are broken down into 30 jewels of the Quran. Good job, guys. All right, next one. Ready? What is the Arabic term used to describe the person who gives the call to prayer? What do we call the person who gives the call to prayer? Balal was our first Mu'azin. Mu'azin. Balal was our first one. It's the person who gives the Islamic call to prayer. Good job, guys. MashaAllah. Good job. All right. Ready for the next two? What did the people of Sheba prostrate to? What did the people of Sheba prostrate to? Remember, the queen of Sheba eventually came to Islam. Shems, Shems. Mr. Golden Shems, please shine down on me. The sun, that's right. Good job, guys. The sun. All right, you ready for the next one? This is a big one. This one's long. As described in the Quran, which prophet made the following dua to Lord to the to Allah? Lord, grant me by your own grace, virtuous offspring. You are the hearer of all prayers. Which prophet made this dua to Allah? Good job, Lehman. Good job. Prophet Zakaria. Prophet Zakaria. Good job, you guys. All right, you ready? Next question, we have two more. How many days did the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and Abu Bakr as-Siddiq stay away in the cave of Saur? I thought you were doing tarot card readings. Definitely not. We're having Islamic trivia. That's why it's really important to make sure that you pay attention before you blame or you <laughs> accuse people of something. <laughs> That's so funny. Good job, guys. Yes, three days. That's right. MashaAllah. Good job, guys. All right. Say it again. It was asking how many days the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and Abu Bakr Asadik stayed in the cave of Saur. All right, last question of the night, you guys. Last question of the night, and then we will be done with Tech Trivia for the night. Um, and I will, I don't know, try to plan another one with you guys. Ready? Who was the prophet, who was the father of Prophet Suleiman, alayhi salam? Who was the father of Prophet Suleiman, alayhi salam? MashaAllah, yes, Dawood, David, Dawood, you guys did an amazing job, seriously, like, I don't think there was one question that didn't actually get an answer, like, somebody got it right at some point, that was so good, wow, um, originally I got on here and was sharing some information from my favorite copy of the trans translation of the Quran, I also was sharing with you guys some of my readings from my favorite book, The Prophet's Pulpit by Dr. Khalid Abla Fadl, one of my all-time favorite Islamic sheikh and jurists. Answer some questions, um, do trivia, 
that's typically how it goes so if you guys are interested in doing this again please let me know i will try and make some more time to hop on and do this as often as i can we only got through half of general islamic knowledge we still have all of the sirah of the prophet ﷺ that we can get through so let me guys know what you think if this is something that you would like to do again and we will absolutely handle it get it done inshallah um, i'm going to share this with you one more time so that you guys can go and purchase one if you want one um i want to thank you guys again so much for being so positive honestly this was such a wonderful space tonight i love that i didn't have to deal with a whole lot of toxicity and a lot of drama instead everybody was just here to learn and be amazing to one another and genuinely it's such a good experience whenever you guys have the space like this it just shows me that we have true people from our umma getting together to play games and not spread toxicity but positivity and it makes me so happy when that happens seriously like it's just proof that we can be the muslims that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked us to be we can act right you know so i hope you guys have a wonderful night if you are about to start your fast i hope you're making your intention to fast make sure that you make intention to fast all of ramadan not just the day before uh, or not just the next day so that's always something really important if you make intentions to fast all of ramadan allah always rewards our intentions inshallah so that will be one of the best things that you can do if your fast is not able to be performed if you're not able to perform your fast i understand i'm there a lot of times with my mental health and my physical health sometimes it stops me from fasting you are not less of a muslim you're not less there's so much that you can do there's so much that matters about ramadan outside of that so also if you are a sister if you are a sister not a man if you are a brother you do not this is not for you I love you for the love sake of Allah, but this is not for you. I have a sisters only Muslima, sisters only group chat, sisters only. There are hundreds of us in there and it is a beautiful space. It is full of positivity. It is where women come to be vulnerable. There is no haram bros. There is no haram policing. There is no inappropriate advising. You are allowed to exist and you are allowed to grow and you are allowed to make mistakes and you have an ummah, a wonderful group of women 